Welcome back to Anna, Illinois, where I'm near the intersection of Body Barn and Body Barn, working at a very unique farm called JNS Sense. My boss today is Jeff Williamson, whose company provides fresh deer pee to hunters all over the globe. Now it's time to enter the deer pit. Now, just to review, this is basically a pit filled with diarrhea. You got it. Or diarrhea. Diarrhea. You can use that if you want. <laughs> Most of this is doe poop, so when we run the deer on after a while, the buck may try to chase you. It's good to know, thank you. You can <laughs> feel, feel free to remind me of that later. Yeah. Try not to push too much of the solid down there. Oh. So I'm just trying to get the water really yeah, out just, of the diarrhea? Yeah, just try to get the top of the water off, and then we're going to scoop out the rest. Dear me. This is just. Do you have a good stomach? Yeah. OK. Yeah. My sphincter's a disaster, but my stomach's good. <laughs> OK. <laughs> now, what are you going to do while I'm doing this? Watch. There's only room for one. You already cleaned all the floors. All right. Maybe we'll just have a little chat. Yeah. yeah. What do you want to talk about? Welcome to another edition of Jeff's Deer Pee Facts. This is Jeff. Jeff, give me a deer pee fact. Deer pee fact, if it's not fresh, it's no good. Why does it have to be fresh, Jeff? Deer have one of the best noses of any animal, mm -hmm. besides a bear, and uh, they can tell a difference. How much better is the nose on a deer than the nose on a human? I would say uh, probably 500% better. 500% better. So if you're a fella trying to hunt a deer and you're downwind, and you're wearing cologne, this deer is going to smell you. He's blowing you in. You're, he's gone. He's, he's gone. In. Jeff, give me another deer-related fact, a deer pee-related fact, if you would. Deer pee farming is a lot of work, and that is 100% fact. Do you remember the moment when you were like, deer pee? And I was always infatuated by deer, and that's just what I always wanted to do, so. What was it about the deer that infatuated you? I've just always been amazed by them, how they can do the things they do and get through the woods with them big old rats yeah. on them. Hunting deer is such a critical thing, and I think it's lost on a lot of people, really. What would happen if none of the deer were being harvested by hunters? Yeah. They would become overran, and then you'd have disease. Awful. Awful disease. Yes. Well, you know what I learned? I went on a hunt, and my uncle told me, he said, you know, you got to understand, deer are vermin. They are. That's their classification. Yes, sir. And people don't think of them that way because right. they saw Bambi. Right. Right? <laughs> Bambi ruined it for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, if Bambi were here, I guess I'd be collecting her pee. Here's the thing about our farm. When our deer come here, they get treated like prize animals. They are really treated well. This here is probably one of the worst part of the jobs that you are doing right now. Well, I'll tell you what it does have that is going to be particularly exciting to my friend Chris Jones, who's listening, monitoring all the audio on this, yeah. is this sound right here. <laughs> the sound of deer crap falling into a bucket filled with deer crap. You know what I did? I shoveled the wrong way. Now I can't yeah. turn around. Yeah, you did. What a rookie mistake that is. Now you got to come all the way back like this. And then I... That was the opposite of what we call technique. <laughs> I was going to tell you, but I thought it was more fun not to. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> <For me. clears throat> Look at that. A little diarrhea collateral damage. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, that's real unfortunate. <laughs> I, f I feel terrible about that. <laughs> We're just going to take it down here to the edge of the pen and dump it. I don't normally fill it that full. Nah, we've overfilled the wheelbarrow. It's a classic mistake when you're shoveling <laughs> Classic. Forgot to tell you, that wheelbarrow tire's flat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, this just seems like an important it's... tool of the job. <laughs> Could you, I mean. All right, there have been some cutbacks. <laughs> if you're just joining us, I'm uh, hauling deer diarrhea down a rocky hill in a red wheelbarrow with a flat tire. Dirty job. Damn it. That was terrible. 
You made it with most of it. I don't know, man. I think I lost half. And now, the long-anticipated deer dump. What's up, Body Barn Road? There used to be a body shop here to paint cars. From a body shop to a pea parlor, this property has seen some changes over the years, and those changes have turned into a legitimate business for Jeff and his family. Wow, that's a rack. That is the world record, 2016 world record that was killed with our deer urine. Really? Honestly. All right, here's where the real action starts. I'm guessing you're going to pour some of this in there, and then we're going to take one of these and suck that out, and then we're going to push that into a bottle. You aren't we? got it. Were well, you ever tempted just to fill up like an empty Snapple bottle? Well, put the lid on it, just put it in the fridge, it... just see what happens. We have tea that we keep out here, sweet tea. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. In the refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> a lot yeah, of people think we're funny when we get us a glass of. Yeah. Sweet tea. That's a mistake you make once. Yeah. Intruder buck. There are different kinds, right? Yes. Yeah, we have the dough and heat, and we have intruder bug. How much per bottle? Till it's full. One ounce. One ounce? Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Hey, Mimo. Hello. How you doing? Oh, see, you you wear gloves. Why wouldn't we wear gloves? We're men. <laughs> <laughs> men, you're tough. You like to smell like deer pee. <laughs> you participate in this activity most every, oh, yeah. every day? Mm -hmm. Here, show me your technique. <laughs> I usually line a whole bunch of them up. Set them all up in a row? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the way I do it. <laughs> How many grandkids you got? I've got 16 great grandbabies with two more going to come in. <laughs> great, 16 great grandbabies? Yes. How many kids you got? Two. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Hi. How you doing? Good. I notice you wear gloves, too, like a sensible person. Oh, yeah. She's the one taught me. Yeah. <laughs> Janet put gloves on. <laughs> yeah, Jeff is just opposed to gloves in general. Oh, so Mike's not using gloves? No, because Jeff you didn't. Know, you do not want to smell like this. No worries, Patty. I lost my sense of smell years ago. Now what we've got here is our newest gel. We call it squeeze a pea. Mm -hmm. You might want gloves for this. Oh, we're almost done. And I finally get to put some gloves on. Thanks, Jeff. This is so new, we don't even have our labels for it yet. Okay. It's so sticky, it, it sticks to the trees, limbs for the deer hunter. Gets it up higher in the air to mm -hmm. where it'll go farther, the deer can smell it farther, yep. cover their scent better. Mm -hmm. What a curious substance. So what you're gonna do, Let's take this right here, mm -hmm. fill it up with that, and then. Oh, then you're gonna squeeze it. Then you gotta squeeze it full. Like icing? Yes, sir. Made from pea. So you don't wanna put it on your cupcake, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you used this before for its intended use? Yeah, last season. That's what we were yeah. both using when we yep. killed our deer. No, I mean for putting icing on a cake. Oh, no. Oh, no, sorry. No, we wash it out <laughs> and use it after this. No. <laughs> and we just give it a squeeze. Or squeeze, and it's kinda takes a minute. Kind of like sometimes when you've got an audience, <laughs> it's hard to pee. <laughs> no matter how many times you shake it, you're never quite done. That's right. <laughs> well, I don't know that, but. Trust me. <laughs> like milk and a cow, isn't it? No, no, Patty, it's not like milk and a cow. <laughs> it's like squeezing the pee out of a cake decorating device is what it's like. As you see, we may have to come up with a different way to fill these. You might. Then again, you just might have to come up with more competent help. So this is the very, very first container. That is of the very first, first container, container you have filled. Of squeeze a pea? Squeeze, squeeze a pea. We're just going to leave you guys here squeezing a pea <laughs> out of a cake decorating <laughs> bag. And you just have to know that that's happening down here in a little town of uh, Anna. In Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> Mimo, real pleasure. Like Jeff, thanks for your hospitality. Thank you, sir. Time for it's a super shower. Weird. A shower? You need a shower. Me, me and you? <laughs> no. Just, just, no. I got I got places to go, me, Mama. I'm flattered, but it's not that kind of show.